The captain is standing by with Chris and Sharpie. It's our Coors Light game report. Jonathan, how are you feeling right now? Pretty good. How are you guys doing? Not too bad. <laughs> a, a, a emotional night, you one period in. Uh, how are you staying focused with what you got to do on the ice? Well, uh, yeah, I mean, it's tough to stay focused. I'll tell you that. It's, it's uh, definitely a lot of thoughts, a lot of feelings, a lot to just try and process at the same time and trying to focus on your game and nothing like starting the game uh, minus two in the first to bring you back down to <laughs> earth a little bit so uh grand we found a way to get back into it so now we can just go play hockey yeah seeing you do this first period intermission it's the first time i've got a chance to interview you it brings back the memories of when you were a kid in front of the camera all the time in the intermissions remember you had that red line from your helmet across your forehead you have it right now lift up the hat a little bit for me bro <laughs> no, no, no. it's not there no, anymore i don't know what you're talking about <laughs> well you played in a ton of huge games um, where does this one rank as far as you get an opportunity to say goodbye to the fans that have supported you your whole career? Yeah, I mean, you know how it is, Sharpie, when, uh, you know, it's our great run here in Chicago is kind of coming to, to an end. And obviously on an in individual level, um, been a lot of a lot of thoughts, a lot of feelings, just a lot of um, things kind of run through your mind uh, over the last few weeks. And so you know what that's like where, you know, all good things come to an end. And uh, but, you know, I think can definitely be very appreciative and grateful as we look back on those memories and especially the ones that we shared uh, on the ice together. So it's pretty special to be out there and kind of soak that in and feel that love from the fans. I mean, obviously, I'm out there trying to show them how much I appreciate uh, what we've had all these years. So many moments that you can pinpoint from this day, Jonathan, but specifically, what was the national anthem and the standing ovation that you got from the crowd in starting introductions like? Well, I mean, it's, it's overwhelming to be honest. It's uh, it's hard to really receive that. Uh, it's hard to ever feel like you deserve that. And you know, I feel like I owe so much to, to like I said, to Sharpie and the rest of my teammates over the years, and to the fans. I mean, without them, uh, this this isn't as special as it is. So um, I owe so much to them in the city of Chicago. So. I'm just so grateful to be out there right now. Well, you deserve it, pal. You definitely deserve it. And I don't have any more questions for you. I just want to tell you what a pleasure it was going to battle with you all those years. And it's not going to be the same without you playing. Thanks, Shu. Appreciate that. I love you too, man. Jonathan, uh, on behalf of Chicago Blackhawks fans around the world and the city of Chicago, thank you. Congratulations and good luck. Thanks, Chris. It's been a pleasure. Thanks, Thanks guys. Thank you. Jonathan Taves mic'd up in the first period when we continue.